What's going on, doll fans? It's your boy Dylan. Um, so, just real quick, I'm making a, a super short video. I uh, just wanted to talk about something really fast that I saw that I thought was interesting. Also, too, I am, um, you know, trying to fix some minor issues I had with my camera. Uh, with the previous video I made, I was having some audio issues. You guys may have noticed. I think I got that sorted out, so I think I'm okay there. Um, so what I wanted to talk about was there was some tweets by Young Mayo. Um, you guys probably know who he is. Uh, you know, he makes music and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, he does a lot of stuff on YouTube. Um, and he does a lot of Dolphins related stuff. So anyway, but he, he posted these tweets and uh, there was two of them. First was this comparison he found. Um, and it's six mystery cornerback stats from their first three years in the league. Five are Hall of Famers. The other is a current player. Who's who? Right? So, number one, and then he, re uh, he, then he tweeted another uh, photo. It was a, it was a picture, um, you know, of, of comparing these, these cornerbacks, um, the best cornerbacks in their first three years coming into the league ever or whatever. And so then the second one revealed them. It was the first one had like player A, B, C, blah, blah, blah. And then the second one revealed them. So uh, number one, the best cornerback ever in the first three years of his uh, career was Deion Sanders. He played in 46 games, 138 combined tackles, 14 interceptions, three interceptions for touchdowns, one Pro Bowl and a sack. Uh, Champ Bailey was number two with 48 games, 173 combined tackles, 13 interceptions, one interception for a touchdown, two Pro Bowls, and one sack. And coming in at number three with far less games than any of these other guys on here, at 35 comes Xavier Howard. Our boy, Xavier Howard, with 123 combined tackles, 11 interceptions, uh, one interception for a touchdown, one Pro Bowl, and one sack. After that comes Charles Woodson, Darrell Green, and Ty Law. So look, man, I'm telling you, X is a beast. He's our boy, and we had problems last year with having a cornerback opposite him. I think in you know this draft, we need to try and address that. Um, find you know a cornerback a, a that we can pair with him at some point. You know, probably in the mid rounds or whatever. Um, you know whatever uh something like that but we should definitely take a corner at least one corner at some point probably a corner i think we got enough needs elsewhere that one would be fine um but anyway so point is though man we need to pay this dude man we need to pay him he led the league in interceptions last year with will fuller at seven and he only played in 12 games will fuller played all 16 i think pretty sure Anyway, so look, man, he needs to get paid. There have been people talking rumors and stuff about, you know, like trading trading Xavier and Howard. Even if we got two first round picks for him, nah, bro, I want him. I want him to be on our team. We need to have him shut down one side for us, like permanently. Well, at least, you know, for his career. We need to lock him up long term and they need to pay him. Look, man, the salary cap increases every year. If we pay him now, we can lock him up for the next, like, four years, the prime years of his career, where he's going to be an elite shutdown, lockdown corner. He can do that for us. We, want, we don't need to create another hole on our team needlessly, senselessly, and it'll actually end up being a bargain in the long run because in two, three years, when the next guy is going to be getting paid as the highest paid corner in the league... It'll dwarf his contract. So I don't know why people worry about that so much. It's so crazy. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. I just wanted to, to run through that real quick because I thought it was interesting. And again, also, I'm trying to, you know, test out my new camera, make sure I get all the settings and stuff right. Um, so thank you for bearing with me. I really appreciate that. Uh, I actually got it quicker than I thought. I was supposed to get it early next week. It came today. So that was awesome. Um, but anyway, that's all I got for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap that here I hope you guys enjoy my show if you do make sure you hit the subscribe button make sure you hit the like button Make sure you hit the bell if you want to get the alerts leave your questions comments and concerns down in the comments section And as court and of course as always make sure you follow me on Twitter at Dylan Tartaro and real quick This means that I'll be able to do some uh, some live stream uh, stuff for you guys, too so I would assume the next or the the thing that I would do it for uh, coming up will probably not be until the draft unless there's some other reason to do it but um, if not then expect that I'll probably do some kind of live stream while the draft is on 
so you can see my reactions to our picks and so on and so forth. We can talk about it, you know, chop it up in the uh, in the chats and stuff, the live chats. And um, anyway, so with that, guys, though, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. And uh, I'll see you all soon. Fins up.